and welcome back to Resistance Arms. I know, I know, I know, it, I haven't made a video in a long time. Here's why, there's two main reasons. First, it's hot as balls out here, and I'm really not too friendly with the heat. And the shop has been over the counter busy. Every time I'm in the mood to make a video, they literally just say, get out of here, we're too busy building rifles. Today we have a little bit of a different video. We're talking about our warranty policy. A customer, actually the chief of police, I'm not gonna mention the city just because we had sent him this shorty for his transition drills. So from pistol to rifle, you know, that sort of thing. And he had noticed that it wasn't cycling properly. And due to gas plug settings probably not being right. So he noticed that to get to the gas block, he had to take off the handguard. And the handguard screw was stripped. So as you can tell, that led to a lot of things. Here is the old handguard, the victim. This is where the screws would be and if it's stripped a screw you can't get it out unless you have some very very fancy extractor or something like that. So we had to grind this being careful not to ruin the castle nut or the barrel nut however you would say it and then get the screws out of there and this was actually a very nice hand guard. This is a new handguard that we're gonna put on there. And as you can notice, it's the same handguard. This is the handguard that he got, so this is the one that he's going to get. Very nice handguard. And we actually upgraded him a little bit. This is an Aero Precision adjustable gas block. Very, very nice gas block. It's just insanely nice. This is something that you put on personal builds, stuff like that, bougie stuff. So, so what, why are we upgrading him? Because we know that he has plans to suppress this. And if you know a lot about guns, you know that suppressors take gas and make it silent. So you need the gas block to be at like a lower pressure. So we want him to be able to adjust it, whether he's running a suppressor or this muzzle device that we put on there, just setting him up for a really nice build. And we're charging him how much for that? Zero. We want happy customers, huh? Yes, sir. Awesome. So what are we doing? What, what are we going to do now? We're going to take one of the lowers, a uh, complete lower. We're going to slap this on there, obviously, of course, with the handguard and whatnot. And we're going to go to the range and test it. So, let's go out to the range. Hey guys, we're out of the range and did I mention it was hot as balls? Cause it is, it's very hot. Before we get into the upper, well first, let me just show you what the upper looks like all with the handguard. Really nice looking upper. I wanted to show you guys this. This is our new kind of design man I'm in love with this thing it's so nice if you like to say it, it almost looks like a honey badger definitely feels like a honey badger this is a 300 blackout we also do these in 9 mil all of that jazz we have a couple of these on gun broker so if you like it go check it out so give us a minute and we'll slap this upper onto this lower. All right, we got this thing to put together. So time to shoot it and test it if it's good for a customer. Man, this thing's nice. So, seems to be that everything is functioning fine. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.